Hello guys, me Carsets is a Capricorn 95 and welcome to another edition of NBA 2K22 Career Medicine. This is uh, the first time I'm playing this game, but this is not like the intros you see when you start the game, you know. But I skipped a few teams as I already played for the game already. So, I beat West Virginia. The Mountaineers and, and I believe Villanova Wildcats. So we skipped those two teams because I had a hard time trying to beat them the first time, which took a few weeks to do. But now uh, here I am going against the Yukon Huskies. So. And then after that, I'll do the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the. I'm trying to remember the Syracuse Orange. So, I, spoiler alert because I know many YouTuber content creators out there that like basketball post these already, but I wanted to save until I got an Xbox Game Pass, which was around $45 for three months. So, I'm getting some good content out of this as far as playing the game is concerned, so all I can say is I give it an 8 out of, out of 10 because like with the pick and rolls I do and then the post, low post moves, if you're not a basketball fan, you probably be puzzled to say, hey, I thought he's a NASCAR fan, but why is he talking about basketball? Because for me, I played seven years in a recreational league as a child in, and then into my teens, so that's why I like bringing basketball analogies into my NASCAR, you know, content because I grew up watching Michael Jordan win those NBA championships, so that's probably why, so he went to UNC and realized, yeah, I could be an entrepreneur. I could be that special guy in that team. And he got drafted to the Bulls, and long story short, he succeeded and built his own brand, the Jordan brand, of his shoes, signature shoe. So, I don't want to talk too long, but so. Yeah, UConn was my struggle, but as you put it off camera, I did actually beat them, but it took me a few tries to beat them, and it actually gave me confidence to know what the buttons were, or what the offense wants to do. This is the opponent, well, us defenders trying to prevent them from making three-pointers, so... So that's basically it. So stay to part two as I go against the, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. So make a happy car life five. You all have a great day. Peace out. Sports coverage of this college basketball tournament. We will get you out to the second half of this third round matchup right now. And I gotta ask, what do you think about MP's performance halfway through? Well, honestly, a bit of a disappointment. You hear the buzz on this kid and maybe we're expecting too much. What do you think? Well, it's clear he's capable of playing much better. Still plenty of game left. Let's see if he's able to get his game back on track. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. 16 feet out. You know, for all the success the UConn men's program has had, it may always be overshadowed by what the women have done. Macy on the wing. Scott. And a miss there on the triple. to Martin to the middle stolen by Smith Macy with it now Bell defending 
Macy with it. Now here's Scott. Wall outside. Down low. Adams with the steal. Now here's Sheldon. Tight defense on him. Pass to Martin. To the inside. Here's FP. Nice D from Wall. You talk about Huskies basketball, and you're probably right. The first thing that comes to mind is the powerhouse women's program. And that's no knock on the men's program. You just can't ignore all the titles on the women's side. I mean, that program is one of the great dynasties in college history across all sports, male or female. Back to Macy. It's Smith on the wing. Takes the three. And it doesn't go for him. Now UCLA takes it the other way. And here's Bell from the arc. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Bell knew exactly how much time he had on that catch and shoot. And that's just good awareness. Good court awareness there. To the middle. Second chance shot. Here's Scott. Sheldon with the block. Here's Bell. He has five. MP up top. Adams, wall covering. Pass to MP. And with that one, the lead is turned to single digits. Watch the three play all season long. With the development he's shown, you figure he'll be a one-and-done player with this program. It makes sense with his level of skill. Here's Scott. Kicks it out to Wall. Now here's Macy. Pass to Smith. Scott to the paint. Now Smith. He's covered by Bell. Here's Porter. With one on the clock. And Khalil Wall with the stop. Boy, Wall doing a nice job fighting for that offensive board and then putting it right back up. Now into the lineup for UCLA. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona Night 5. You all have a great day, and peace out.